Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a few different work from home jobs that you can do that will pay you via PayPal, which gives you a lot of flexibility in not only how you're getting paid, but where a lot of times you can work. So a lot of times if a country allows PayPal, you know, there's only a handful of countries that don't, you should be able to apply for many different parts of the world on top of getting paid via a very convenient method. Many of these also do not require experience or an interview. So one place you can check is Preply, which is a place where you can tutor people in over a hundred different subjects. So you're not limited so much to one particular thing. So if you go to preply.com, you can go to become a tutor and then you can teach anytime, anywhere. You can make your own hours. So you can do this outside your regular job, school, whatever you're doing. You can set your own rate as well. So basically, if you think your time is worth more than the 15 to 25 dollars per hour that they give just as an example you can set it to 30 dollars an hour or 35 dollars an hour whatever that may be you also get to teach students from many different countries around the world they have a smart calendar an interactive classroom convenient payment methods and many different things to make your life much easier as well so some of the most frequently asked questions one thing obviously is what kind of experience do you need because some of these types of websites where you're a tutor they require you to be someone who's done some teaching before, like in a classroom, or have some sort of degree. Well, this one, they don't have a specific certification required or teaching experience required. They want you to enjoy sharing knowledge and making a difference in people's lives, have outstanding communication skills, and are willing to provide a personalized learning experience to international students. So as far as subjects that you can teach, over 100 subjects on Preply, including languages, school and university subjects, hobbies, and art. And as far as how you become a tutor, basically they're just gonna tell you how you are going to verify your identity and your background check and all that kind of stuff. And then as far as why you should teach here, they do have PayPal as, as one of the payment methods. They have Payoneer, Skrill, and TransferWise as well. And they're gonna help you get a steady stream of students. Also, as far as requi equipment required here, very minimal. You only need like a laptop or desktop, stable internet connection, webcam, and a microphone for conducting lessons. So it's free to make an account, of course. Now they do take a small commission off of what you earn. That's how most of these companies work is instead of you paying some sort of membership fee or startup fee, you have like a percentage that you give to Preply so that they can keep the lights on and keep running this business. So that's gonna be somewhere between 18 and 33% for that part. And then uh, they say most popular tutors on Preply earn $550 a week. We don't really know how many hours those people work because it depends on the hourly rate that those people charge. As far as what it's like to work at Preply, as far as their reviews, they have a really good amount of reviews and very solid overall ratings. 4.5 out of 5 stars. 90% of people recommend working here to a friend. And they say tutors kind of average somewhere around $31 an hour. And then you have some others as well that will go into very specific types of tutoring. For instance, you have like ESL could be like $38 an hour. You see some others like Spanish, $32 an hour. So some of these seem to pay a little bit more than others. Now this one seems to be in Spanish and pays apparently $62 an hour. I don't know if that's really, I don't know how accurate that is, but as far as uh, most of these, I would say they're pretty close to that $30 per hour range. Maybe you can get in the high 30s for some of these if you did the right type of tutoring as well. Next, we have AI training jobs at a company called Dataforce, which is actually a branch of a company called TransPerfect. So Dataforce allows you to train AI. These types of jobs, typically what you're going to do is you're going to give feedback on what AI is doing automatically. So obviously we know that AI has been a major world changer in the past year or so. And one thing about AI is it still needs a lot of humans to actually give feedback on whether or not it's doing a good job. So AI has all these jobs that are needed where you review how an AI is doing, whether it's, you know, transcribing something or creating audio files or whatever it is. So Dataforce is one place where you can find these types of jobs. They also have these all over the world. You have video collection, you have audio collection, audio collection in many different areas of the world. So it just depends on what you want to do. Now this is also just one particular section. This is the, uh, the data sourcing project section. They also have the short and long-term project section as well. So you have 
a few that are kind of similar, but they also have like English content generator. You have language data annotator. You have freelance English con content creator. So it's, a lot of these are going to be duplicates in different countries and different languages. You have voice talent casting. You have logistics coordinator, which is more of an on-site job. So you see a, a nice mix of different things here. But make sure you look for the ones that are remote and make sure you apply for the one in your country, obviously. Yes, you also have freelance image annotators as well. I'm not really focusing on one particular job, but you know, you can click on one and see like what they look like. A lot of times they'll have a flexible schedule. You only work a few hours a week, maybe 20 hours or so. This one you're just reviewing image annotations and assign driving related attributes and metadata to annotated images. And then job requirements are very minimal, as you can see here. Like experience is preferred, but not necessarily required. And then a lot of these will also pay you via PayPal. So they have a few different options on here all over the world of different types of AI training jobs that you can do at DataForce. Now, because DataForce is part of TransPerfect, their reviews are going to be on TransPerfect. So make sure you go to the right page for Glassdoor. And they have a 3.1 out of five star rating, 50% recommend working here to a friend. You'll notice that many jobs on here that match something very similar to what you see on the uh, the data force side of things is going to be probably mostly in the mid 20s. I'd say like interpreter 27 an hour is pretty close to what you'll see on some of those. Translator, you'll see some jobs around stuff like that. You may see a few others where you're talking like a data annotation specialist would be like another example where you have an average of around 25 an hour. So something along those lines of probably the mid 20s. Next, you have English tutoring. This is very specific to English. This is not like Preply where you have all these different subjects to choose from. But with Cambly, you can do English tutoring without a lot of experience. They don't have any certification, bachelor's degree, or prior experience needed to work here. So they are temporarily limiting the number of new tutors they welcome. They don't say they're completely cutting it off, but they may not have as many openings as usual, but that doesn't mean you can't still apply. So they say you can earn around $10.20 an hour on the regular Cambly, which I believe is going to be teaching like adults and people of all ages. But if you do Cambly Kids, you can make a little bit more at $12 an hour. They also offer weekly pay via PayPal, direct deposit, and more, as you can see right here. You can also tutor anytime, anywhere with students spread across the globe. You can start tutoring at any time of the day based on your schedule. You can work as little or as much as you want and no minimum hours are required ever. So you're gonna basically help people around the world build their English language skills. And one thing I also wanna point out here is these are one-on-one -on -one lessons. You will find some other jobs like these at different websites where they will have like as much as one on four is probably the most I've seen from a website like this. That's actually a competitor to Cambly. So this one, you're actually just doing one-on-one, -on -one, which I think is much easier and more, much less stressful. And you might chat with a university student from Brazil, a marketing professional from Japan, et cetera. So it, it depends on whether you're doing regular Cambly or Cambly Kids, of course. As far as reviews, they have a 3.4 out of five star rating, 66% recommend working here to a friend. And we've already been over the salary of what you would make at Cambly. Another job you can do where you get paid via PayPal is a mystery shopper. So occasionally I'll find these websites where you can actually be a mystery shopper at home. It's kind of rare because most mystery shopping jobs, you have to go to a store in person and take pictures or scan barcodes or ask certain questions to uh, people who work at the front desk or something. But at Call Center QA, you can actually do this via the phone. So you're gonna call like customer support at different businesses and basically they hire these mystery shoppers to basically apply without experience and no background check, but you do need to be at least 18 years of age or older and be a current resident of the US. And they do not charge anything for registration or anything like that. So you have flexible hours, fast payouts, etc. It's not something you wanna rely on all the time to pay your bills, but it's one of those things where you might pay a bill every once in a while with this money. So you get paid $5 to complete a telephone mystery shop along with a brief online feedback form, which is only one page long. Each call is typically around 10 minutes. So if you do the math, that's about $30 per hour. Obviously it's gonna depend on the volume of work you get, whether you're gonna consistently make that, but it typically only takes $5 for around 10 minutes of your time. And the payout per call is one of the highest in the industry. And they say they pay usually within seven business days or less. While they say others take as much as 30 to 45 days. 
Now again, you do need to be a US resident to apply here. So make, make sure you keep that in mind. As far as what it's like to work here, four out of five stars, 82% recommend working here to a friend. And again, we've already been over pay. You can average, if you wanna do an hourly rate, it would be $30 an hour, but it's really, it's really by the task. So it's $5 for every 10 minute task is essentially what it's going to be. Another company that's known for paying via PayPal and also allows you to apply worldwide is Rev.com. Rev.com has these jobs where you can do either transcription, subtitling, or captioning. So here you have, say, uh, three different types of jobs. You can also choose uh, your jobs and work a flexible schedule as much or as little as you want. Again, you get to choose what you're going to do and you get paid weekly via PayPal. And they also have many different countries on the drop down here where you can apply from. You have transcription, which is pretty much the lowest paying on average. You listen to an audio file or video, accurately type what's being said and label speakers. Now, one side note here, uh, some people I've noticed comments where they say, well, I made, I've made less doing transcription or something like that. And it really comes down to your speed and your skill level. So they pay you by the audio or video completed minute of the project. It's not based on your per minute of work time. So it might take some people two or three times as long to do a project than others who are a little more skilled or a little bit faster at typing and things like that. So just keep that in mind. Your skill level is gonna determine how much you make per hour. You might make horrible money or you might make decent money. You're never gonna make a lot of money doing this stuff, but it's gonna be something that it could be well worth your time if you're good. And then as far as captioning, you watch a video, accurately type what's being said, creatively convey sounds, and sync the typed audio with the video. So when you see this little example here, you see this like this video and you see the, the captions popping up, you're the one who creates those captions and make sure that they are in sync with when they're being spoken in the video. This pays a little bit more um, on average, 54 cents to $1.10 per audio video minute, but not a lot as far as comparing that to transcription. And then subtitling $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute. So you're gonna take those captions and turn them into a foreign language as well. That's why it makes it a little bit tougher. And that's why it pays a lot more. It's $1.50 to $3 per audio or video minute, which is like two or three times more than these other ones pay. Uh, but it also could take you a little longer. So that's another kind of give and take thing with this. But Basically, when you apply, you take a quiz to demonstrate your skills, submit the sample that will be reviewed, and then once you get approved, you can start working. And when you click learn more, make sure you click learn more next to the one you, you want to do. They'll pay you weekly via PayPal. They'll tell you the average earnings per month, and then you also get free software that'll help you do the job. Now, as far as reviews, they have a, a 3.7 out of five star rating and 63% recommend working at Rev to a friend. So those are pretty solid ratings. As far as how much you can get paid, they have a few different estimates here. So I like to look at hourly for these because you're mostly gonna be doing this part-time. Uh, transcription, you're averaging somewhere around $20 an hour. If you do captioning, it looks like you're gonna average somewhere around 23. And then if you look up subtitle, if you look up freelance subtitler specifically, it's four people said that they average around $30 per hour. So if you look at the averages, it makes sense that you know, transcription is the lowest around 20, captioning is a little bit higher around 23, and then subtitling is a little higher around 30. Another thing you can do that's kind of similar to what you would do at Rev, but is actually a little different is transcript editing instead of just basic transcription. So basic transcription is more manual work. You're going to basically take a file and type out the whole thing yourself. And then you're gonna label speakers, make sure the grammar's good and all of that. With, with Scribby, you're essentially taking an automated transcript software, it's going to generate a transcript and you're gonna edit it as you go. So 60% of the typing effort is done for you and hence why they seem to pay a little bit less than say Rev does per audio hour, which is at five to $20. So they don't have any commitments, withdrawal limits, no obligations. One thing to really look at, it's in, it's in the fine print, but no withdrawal limits is very significant. That means if you make any money, you can basically collect that money instantly, which essentially means that you can pay yourself on a daily basis if you get that money and you earn it that day and you can collect it whenever you want because other companies will make you have to have a certain amount of money in there and then you collect it. So it delays your collection time. Now, another thing about them, they want you to have good listening skills and good comprehension of English. 
You need to have good grammar so that you can correct mistakes. Uh, you might even want to download like the Grammarly app or something like that. And they pay you again, five to twenty dollars per audio hour via a verified PayPal account. So they'll have you have a few different estimates here that will vary depending on how many hours you put in. Um, and as far as what you're going to be required to have before doing this, it's very minimal requirements. All you need is English comprehension, able to interpret conversations, ability to apply context and identify mistakes, verified PayPal account, laptop or desktop computer and internet connection and headphones or headset. So other than that, that pretty much covers it. Other than there's one more thing I want to point out and is the fact that they have short files. So every file is usually six minutes long or maybe a little more, maybe a little less. And that means you shouldn't have to dedicate a huge block of time for doing work here. So for instance, if you wanted to just take an extra hour after work when you get home, you can do that and probably get your work done here. Instead of taking all you know afternoon or all evening to do one transcription. So that's another nice thing about them as well as the files are short. They have a three out of four star rate, three out of five star rating, 46% recommend working here to a friend. And then salary wise at Scribby, you have a an average of somewhere around $27 an hour, looks like the one with the most feedback. Another place where you can get paid via PayPal and do a variety of jobs online is study.com. Study.com is a place that has all sorts of education uh, stuff on their website where people take courses and stuff. Uh, basically, they have people that can apply worldwide as a contractor here. Flexible hours, you work wherever and whenever you want, completely online. They pay you twice a month, a lot of times via PayPal. And then you have this list of jobs available. Another nice thing I like about them is they actually have listings that are active um, that aren't just the same job available all time you know, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, where they just build this huge talent pool. And when companies have these huge talent pools, sometimes there's not that much work to go around to each individual person. But also there's, you know, you could make the argument that a lot of people are not active enough to actually do those jobs. But the nice thing about these is like, they post these jobs when they need them filled. So you know these are a little more active and you probably will have more work that's consistent. So. You know, one thing I want to point out is the location here. So some of these are going to require you to be in a certain part of the world, like the United States or multiple countries, or sometimes you'll see like the Philippines on here. Some of these don't really give you anything. They just say remote. So that to me is probably worldwide as well as the one that says multiple countries. But if it says multiple states or a specific country, just make sure that you're in the right place for applying. Now they have a lot of different types of jobs here. They have editing jobs. They have people who write, whether it's blog posts or writing test questions. You also have sales rep jobs. So for instance, you usually have a few sales development rep jobs available here. As you can see, you have some others as well that are a little different, like an SEO specialist. You have a, a video creator type job, which is very uncommon here. Every once in a while, you'll even see a data entry job, but I don't see any right now. So one just random example that you can check is like the sales development rep. I'm not gonna go over every single job here because obviously that'd take a long time, but you can kind of just click on the ones that interest you. But I'm just gonna show you what one of their listings looks like. So if you did like a sales development rep position here, for instance, they, sell, they tell you it's an entry level position which usually means you don't have a you don't need a lot of experience. You could be outbound. You're going to do outbound and inbound inquiries, which means you'll be taking calls or taking emails, etc. Or you're also going to conduct them first. So your responsibilities will you know basically to sell the company's products. Qualifications: one plus years of successful experience in telephone prospecting, preferably in ed tech, which is education. Um, other than that, you know, not much. They do say bachelor's degree strongly preferred, but this is not the same requirements that you will see on all the jobs. This is just one example. The requirements are gonna vary for every job. And then also they tell you reliable payments twice a month via PayPal. They say it pays via $15 an hour. 
Now I believe that's base pay. I don't. They should have some sort of performance-based incentive. Being a sales job, that's normally that's normally what happens with sales jobs is they have some sort of uh, performance-based incentive. But like I said, you're not just limited to that job. You have a long list of other ones available. Now, if you were to go to their reviews, they have a 2.9 out of five star rating. So it could be a little better. But if you're talking pretty much three out of five, that's not too terrible. Um, and as far as salaries go you're going to have, again, it's going to vary depending on where you're working or what type of job you're gonna do. Content writers are very common. They say 29 an hour for that one. Lesson reviewers are pretty common, 34 an hour. Lesson writer, writer, $38 an hour. Editors are pretty common. Most of these are fairly common. You do see video editor. I think that's one they have available right now. Uh, gen generally, as a contractor, they say $34 an hour. That's a good kind of, you know, average of all the different things you might do here, but because you are going to be a contractor. Last but not least, you have transcription at Go Transcript. So if you wanted to do, say, transcription work, this is another place where you can get paid via PayPal. And this is also a place where you can apply worldwide, as you can see. Now they pay up to 60 cents per audio or video minute. Average earnings are $150 per month. And top monthly earners earn around $1,215 a month. Now, they're going to want to verify your, you know, identity basically when you're applying here as many companies do. You will do transcription jobs from home. You're going to basically take an audio or video file and type what's being said. Get paid reliably on a weekly basis via PayPal. Work flexible hours, as little or as much as you want, whatever you want. Receive great support. Choose your own projects grow your skills, enjoy work variety as well. So they have all sorts of different types of transcription. Many companies do as well. Sometimes these will pay more than others. Like for instance, sometimes legal and medical transcription pays more than general, but they also have things like police investigations, book research, and other things too. So other than that, um, you at least have a variety of jobs you can do. So hopefully it'll be less boring. You have many different languages as well. A lot of the other ones don't have other than don't have anything other than English. So that's another kind of unique feature about Go Transcript. So as far as the payment methods, they only do PayPal and Payoneer. Do PayPal and Payoneer. As far as the payment rate, they pay for the job done again. So you're not getting paid based on your hour hourly rate of time. It's based on how much work you get done. So when you get paid is weekly every Friday. And then again, you get to work whenever you want, apply worldwide, there are no fees, and you're gonna have to take care of your own taxes and things like that. So um, they, they say you can actually use your phone for this work as well, but they recommend using a laptop or PC to use the transcription tool efficiently. So it's possible, but they don't necessarily recommend it. So as far as what's like to work at GoTranscript, they have a 3.8 out of five star rating and they have 86% recommend working here to a friend. So those are pretty good ratings overall, obviously. The vast majority of people do recommend working here to a friend. And if, we, if you wanna know the hourly rate of people averaging here as far as pay, uh, obviously you see how much they pay. It's like 60 cents per audio or video minute, I believe. And then as far as the hourly rate per, of time that people average, it seems to be somewhere around $22 an hour. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these. And if you want to be first in line, obviously, to get these before everyone else. And don't forget to click the like button. If you thought this was helpful, please click the like button. It helps me know what types of content you prefer. I will make better content for you if I know what gets more likes. And then also, don't forget to leave a comment if you want to ask me a question or suggest something for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.